Hey guys, what is going on? I am back, and today we're going to be reviewing an, an EP. I haven't reviewed EPs very much, and I need to because they're very easy to review, and there's very small tracks on them, so I can review them. Tell if they're good or bad, but we can go about our merry way. So here we go, let's review an EP, and this comes from me being in the hospital and trying to get something to review, and I got uh, the Tim McGraw album, I just got done reviewing, uh, so check out that video if you haven't checked it out, if I upload this first, then check out it after this, uh, whatever, for Tim McGraw fan. Anyways, this is for a country shock group, I guess you what they call them, I'm not sure what you would call this band, but anyways, Those Poor Bastards. And the album Country Bullshit. This is a weird... I don't know how to explain those poor bastards. I believe... And I could be wrong. Don't even, like, attack me for being wrong. Because I didn't do my research on, like, the band members' names or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure I've seen them live. I think they're a three-piece. Could be a two-piece. Could be a three-piece. Pretty sure it's not a full, like, band. It could be. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. I don't know. Anyways... Five tracks. Don't know how long they were. They're pretty average songs. Um, from 2004, it's an EP with five tracks. Let's talk about track number one. This is, okay, so this is kind of like, this band sounds like they're talking through a megaphone through the entire album. Completely honest. That's their shtick. I haven't listened, I, I, this is one of the first ones, and it's actually one of their first, one of their original CDs that they released before they got kind of famous, so could be kind of wrong on that, but pretty close. I'm pretty close to being right on that. This is one of their first EPs. Um, I believe there might have been one before this or one after this, and I'll probably review that too. But the first track is called Raw and Bleeding. Um, yeah. So, singing, uh, this is basically a singing track, and less than 30 seconds, and it's pretty pointless. I don't know why it was even on this EP. It's kind of pointless to put this on there. But the first track was just raw and bleeding, and it was basically just singing random stuff. Didn't, didn't make any sense. I, I don't know what this was, but it wasn't anything good. Definitely horrible. Uh, track number two, The Accident. Uh, much like a creepy hymn in church to me. This, <laughs> and that's kind of what their jive is. If you like stuff like that, if you like that kind of music... But you don't want the church stuff. You want that sound. But you don't want the church stuff. This is kind of what it sounds like. Kind of interesting. And I kind of wonder why people haven't done it like any other people haven't done music like this. But it's almost catchy, but becomes annoying. Because it goes too long. I want to say this was like three or four minutes long. It had to have been like four minutes long. Because it gets to the point where like, oh yeah, this sounds kind of cool. But then it keeps on going. And you're like, this is annoying now. It's not good anymore. So, I didn't really like it. I thought it was horrible. I didn't think it was that great. Sorry. You can hate me. Those poor bastards fans might hate me. But I'm really, when I saw them live with uh, Hank 3, they were great. I loved them. I loved them live. So maybe it's just a different thing. If you get them live, they'd probably be a lot better. <coughs> so far, not really like a fan of them. I won't say that because I've heard other albums and they're pretty good. Another album, so can't wait to review more al albums of those poor bastards. Pretty good. Uh, number three is Black Dog Yodel. Um, it's an average song, kind of numbing, kind of like the accident where it sounds the same and just a, mm, mm, mm. um, but kind of a trance inducing song. Bad, I guess, in a way that it's like that, but it somehow draws you in. But something was missing. Like, this is probably one of the best ones on there, uh, besides the next track. But it's just average. Like, it, it went, nothing blew me away about the song. Nothing blew me away. It didn't entice me to want to listen to more Those Poor Bastards, and that's what it should be doing. So, just an average song. Wasn't bad. Number four. This is an album that if you don't know who Those Poor Bastards are, but you do know who Hank 3 is, Hank 3 covered this song. He covered Pills I Took. I heard this song, and I'm like, I have to figure it out. Who sang it first? Those four bastards did the original song. Wow. <coughs> if you want to see where it came from, listen to this song, because Hank 3 made it 10 times better. 
But it's interesting to hear the song, and I had to give it at least an average because of where it came from, and ended up being a cover by Hank 3 later on. But a really cool song. The lyrics are pretty catchy, and they're cool. Uh, their version is kind of blah, really, though. But, you know, they, they, they had a great song there. They just didn't know how to give it to people. And Hank 3 took it and ran with it really, really good. Uh, you know, I think some people, you know, I, I, I would assume that they got some kind of monetization from, you know, Hank 3's version. So, there you go. Maybe they're, uh, maybe that's what's going to happen. Hank 3 is going to look at them and say, hey, what kind of tracks did you guys, nobody wanted to hear? <laughs> maybe he'll redo the accent and make it a good song. Anyway, so Pills I Took. Average song, I'll, I, it was kind of enjoyable. Average, though. Like I said, Hank 3's version is better. Mm-hmm. Number five, I don't know what this was. It sounded like a drunk and hillbilly song. Wasn't very good. Kind of like the accident where it was just kind of like the same background music. Annoying. So annoying. Was not good. This is not the EP to buy. If someone was going to say, what is the best EP? What was the best CD to check out those poor bastards? This would not be an album that I would recommend. This EP I would not recommend to anybody. Because this is a horrible, horrible album. Horrible EP. I would never pick this up. This should probably go in a landfill somewhere. Just completely be honest. Um, with two songs on this, and it being an EP, it's not a good example to show to people. Uh, but Radio Country is the track number five. Supposedly it's a bonus track, so I don't know what this was included and was not included with uh, at some points, but it is a bonus track on this album. Horrible. Not good. So there you go. Those poor bastards. Country Bullshit EP. Uh, five tracks from 2004. If you picked it up back then, I'm sorry. And, you know, I when I went to the show, I wonder if this was on the table. It probably was. But I knew I wasn't going to pick up anything besides Hank 3 stuff at the time. Because I, really, I know I didn't have that much money back then. And if I was going to pick up anything, it would be a t-shirt. So, um, it wouldn't be anything that those were bastards. My nose is bothering me. Anyways, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think about those poor bastards. If you've heard them, if you have this CD, or you've heard this album, let me know what you think about it. And as always, keep rocking. And please try and find another album of this. And then you can keep on rocking with more Those Poor Bastards. Because I know they're good. I know they're better than this. I know it. And it's coming soon. More albums to review of Those Poor Bastards. Keep rocking and keep on listening to Those Poor Bastards. Because if they listen to this album, they're going to be poor bastards. Good Lord. See you later.